Welcome back to Atlantis in City Skylines. And today I want to grow the city, but I also want to solve a traffic issue that we have in here. I will show you what's happening. In this area, we have this really nice roundabout, which is the city entrance. But that's the whole... Actually, that's the only <laughs> uh, access point for the highway. And we are at 16,000 people in the city and everyone has to go through this roundabout to get into the highway. And this is not good, not good at all. We also don't have, uh, I'm just thinking about this now, we don't have any uh, train connections for the industry in here, which might be a problem. We do have this train line just briefly crossing the uh, the border in here but then that might be really tricky to bring that into this area so here is what we're gonna do we are buying a new tile and the tile will be this one and why this one you might ask it's simple we now can have access to the train line we can have access to the highway. Look at how many cars we have in the highway there. That's surprisingly high, to be honest. Look at how many people. Wow. Yeah, I'm just surprised. That's all. But anyway, that's not what we are looking at. We are looking at access. The idea here is that we can bring this road all the way here and connect it on the highway over there. And although I don't think I'll use the train connection yet, that's definitely something that'll be in my mind. Although we have this, hmm, this rail connection just there waiting to be picked. <laughs> I might, oh, should I, should I do that? I'm just thinking now, where could I bring this? through just to make sure you could actually go around the mountain here down there go through this side over here and somehow ooh, could go that'll be a steep way for the train to go up there because otherwise we could go up and down in here and stop here somewhere but i'm not quite sure if i like the idea of going as deep as that i can't see anywhere else where the train goes so steep and like that's a little bit more realistic to be honest we do have some roads that like this one they're very steep but anyway uh this is not something i will do right now I want you to do the road connection in there and then uh, the reason why I'm picking that is if you look at this looking at the access point here to all this area this is where all these cars are coming from and just because I said this changed a little bit oh no <laughs> but as you can see there is a lot of private cars coming through the highway over there some trucks as well but they are all coming from this side, actually. The idea then is that we create another access point for them and make it a lot easier for whoever's coming through here. I will add some Old Town policy here if I didn't have that set up yet. Old Town, there we go. So cars can, or especially trucks, can use these suburb to go through which means that if they leave the highway there they have to go into this area and not actually cross the whole suburb or we could leave it and see how it goes and if we need we can turn that off i think that's what i would do and yeah i think did i hear yeah there's a plane over there it's like what's that sound um but the idea here today is that I'll do a speed build to connect this highway because I usually take some time to build highways and especially highway junctions. But I'll work on that and I'll be back with you when 
we actually do maybe a little bit of work in this area it might be a good area for us to build some residential in here but yeah i'll be back with you in a few moments We just finished a new academic year report and this is the first academic year for our Atlantis Art University and we still are unrecognized so we didn't level up this time we finished one academic work we needed two that's uh, that, that was the, the issue there but yeah I think we have all that already so no news and this is the research grant that we we gave for the uh, saving private bluebirds a heartfelt story of friendship that will capture the attention of both critics and audience alike and we had we had a toga party over 9,000 white bed sheets were appropriated by students for this year's toga parties all right so Let's wait and see what happens next. And here we are. So we now have a connection in here. I like this style that I went through here. It's a little bit different from what we had before, but I think this, oh, this is just interesting. This is, I want you to try something different from what I usually do. This time I went um, with tunnels because we have the mountain in here and I don't think it would make sense to have a bridge going over there and well to be honest it actually would but <laughs> I think what I want to go here is for keeping the view uh, unchanged so that's the idea there as you can see we already ha have cars coming through there and just as a recap, so from this area, they'll go up this road and they have two options here. The first one, they'll go underneath um, the road here in a tunnel and come up in here, enjoy the highway over there. And if they go left, they'll go all the way through here, which I have to smooth this. <laughs> and then they'll come out in here, enjoy over there. Now. On the other side, if they turn left here, they will come out in this area or in here, they'll come out here, join and be back there. Now, I just want to make sure that I did the, all the exits here. So this one is all right. This one has a dedicated turning lane because I did lane mathematics in here. This one joining, we have all the lanes stuck properly in here i think i'm just missing this one so they can oh not here it was there yeah it's it's all good there this one is already set up and as you can see we are now starting to see a lot more people coming through this area even a few buses intercity bus nice so what i want to see here is that this roundabout is a little bit better which it isn't at the moment i think what we need to do is take a look at that and see how that goes after a few seconds hopefully this will get a little bit better but if not then we can take a look at this a little bit later there are other connections that i want to do but we have to unlock other tiles as well so we'll get there we will get there all right it doesn't seem that it's helping too much but i am pretty sure that there is a lot of traffic coming through this area now yeah there we go there we go even crossing the the suburb as i mentioned before 
traffic is okay in here so i won't limit the that change um, or traffic crossing the suburb over there and we have a few cars coming into this area which is pretty good and we have a few in, into this area over here and this one is living using that roundabout that's fine yeah i think this is actually pretty good and um, yeah that's nice one thing that i didn't actually think here was to actually an exit to this area so we can start building up uh, something around here so um, let me think if that is any easy way well we could use the tunnels in here and just connect that underneath i think we could easily tap on this one so they could join this side and they could tap on that one or this one so they could join that side yeah i think that would be nothing too bad oh i like the texture here on the ground this looks quite nice so for this area well before we even do that one i mentioned that i wanted to do some uh, residential in this area so i'll do that but let's just smooth things out in here so we can hide the road coming through here i think that'll be yeah that's good enough everything is hidden i might even do a little bit over here this is actually getting worse What's happening? Let me go out a little bit so we can play around with the terrain. So in here, yeah, I just want to lightly touch it, not like a major change. And I think in here as well, I might try to do something like this just so we can play with this space a little bit better. I think that will work for us. And then I can smooth things out. Yeah, yeah. And all the way over here. I think that's good enough. And just thinking if there is anything that we could do in this area around here it's like calling for a um, viewpoint just there but I don't know maybe later on we do it or maybe up here somehow but let's do what we need to do what I want to do here about well, this area we won't have uh, bike paths so mainly because like there is nothing much in here that we we could do in that sense it's possible it's still possible but that's not something i'm going for so let's try to do something like this What I'd like to do, if possible, was actually... Get the zoning on this road instead of this one. But I don't have any mods to disable zoning in there. Which is a bit unfortunate. That would be... A good thing to have there. But to be honest, I think we could just do this. We don't really need like huge houses in here, and I'm not even filling all this space. Oh, another year, another academic work, and we are now recognized. Yay! 
So we have now unlocked the Liberal Arts Cafeteria, Liberal Arts Fountain, Liberal Arts Gymnasium, and Outdoor Study. And we created the work World Music, a comprehensive collection of music instruments throughout the world. That sounds great. We will take a look at that very, very soon. So going through this area, I just want to make sure that we don't mess too much with the space that we have. But I think this will be all right there. I'm just trying to see if I can find a park that would go well in here. But I, I don't know, I don't think so. That's way too big for this area. This would be the best one, to be honest. I don't know if I want that. I might do it in here, just to see what happens. I don't know. And let's give bird signs in here and some dedicated telling lines there we go everyone's happy so we don't have demand for residential so I'll probably add a couple of buildings in here for commercial just because it also helps these houses to get their grocery and do all that they want. Let's look at the um, Atlantis Art University in here and see. Oh, we have a full car park in there still. And mainly, I think they're all going for the ferry stop, which is quite busy still. And full, yeah. We need to get some new ferries because they're all fairly small. They are huge, but they are, have such a small capacity and it doesn't make much sense. So let's take a look at this. I might give another grant and this time for literature. And let's see what we can do over there. So this is the Liberal Arts College campus area. Dormitories, it's what we have in here. Let me just, can I close this? We don't need that. This would actually look rather nice being like all together like this. I think I like that. I'll keep it. This no, this looks nice. The Liberal Arts Study Hall, which is this one. Groundskeeping, we already have that. Drama Club is up here. Yep. And now we have the Outdoor Study Gymnasium Cafeteria. Oh yes, Cafeteria in the Fountain. Oh, nice. Where could we have this Fountain? Feel something that would go right in the middle here. Although the terrain, terrain doesn't look nice, I will fix that. Now the cafeteria, mm, that feels like just next to the dorms would be a great place for that. I think that would just work in there. You have all the students in here and then you have a cafeteria just in front of the dormitory. We could have another one next to some, something else, but not yet. Now, the gymnasium, where should this go? I could actually have this around here somewhere. Or maybe somewhere back here. What else do we have? Library, Arts Club, there's quite a few more 
buildings there. We have this outdoor study. How does that look? Kind of okay, only okay. It seems that this could go right here. And then this might go... I want to get it close to the mountain here. Kind of getting in there. Yeah, that might be alright. Can we... Get this from there. Let me reflow in here. And I think we can go straight there. And then we can go straight here. And this will go a little bit further there. So we'll get there. But now this is looking quite weird, isn't it? Buildings. Cool down a little bit. Maybe I should level with this pathway and that looks better. Right? I'm happier with the way it looks. And I think that's the last building that we, we had here. And we need some water. I think I'll just go straight there. And it should be alright. We have water in here. This is turning out to be a quite quite nice area. I like it. Can I just move this down a little bit? This is a quite tricky place. Hmm. Can we change the terrain here a little bit? Doesn't seem like it works. Maybe if I bring this up a little bit. That's better, not this though, but we'll fix that. Yeah, that's slightly better. And what I'll do, I'll just get off this and then we lose lot of objects. And this one, we will increase the height. Let's decrease a little bit. Can I push it slightly in over here? I think that works. Yeah, that's slightly better. It doesn't look so weird. It's still like we have this terrain over here, but uh, not even sure if it's worth changing it. I can add some trees later on in there and make it look quite nice. But yeah, let's see how we are in our info here. We still need more attractiveness. So that tells me how many people do we have? 900. It tells me that we might need another cafeteria. Because why not? Maybe one just at the door here. This would be a good place for a cafeteria. Just because it's next to the... I don't know what, I'll, I'll add it here. So maybe if I add this here, they will start using this car park a little bit more often. Let's see if we have enough attractiveness. Yes, we do. So we are all good. Wrong button. There we go. And our university is growing. Quite happy with that. This area is also looking good. The low density houses in there. 
The only thing that I don't like too much is that there is no... Like we, we can't actually go from low to high. There is no mid density, which I find that doesn't help. So, yeah. I would love to have that. Mm. Would the medical clinic help in here? I think it would actually. Let's see how that goes. I know that's pretty noisy around here, but we will try. At least the building is not ready, red anymore. Ready. I don't know why, what I'm saying. We need to grow our industry, but that's not the time yet. And oh, we've managed to level up again. So we are now renowned. And we now have the Liberal Arts Academic Statue, Art Club, Liberal Arts Library, School for Environmental Studies, and Liberal Arts Commencement Office. So that one's nice, actually. That one probably will go in here. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, I think that'll be a little bit better. The view won't be great from here, but if you are studying and you look through the window over there, look at your view. That's pretty nice. And by the way, this is a pretty nice view, actually. You have the waterfall over there, mountains. Yeah, that's nice. I, I like this place. So that's the Liberal Arts Commencement Office. We now have the academic statue. Hmm. We don't know what I'll do. I think we can fit it in here. That look good. Uh, kind of. Maybe if I bring it closer a little bit. Like that. This one, I think I need to bring it to the same height and then we can move it around like this. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Now this looks just one thing. Okay, now it's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. So let's see what else do we have here. And we do have the art club, which is quite a nice building to be honest. And I think it serves a nice place. I don't know if I add it all the way to the end over there. We have the library, which, yeah, it's quite large. In the library, it could be just here. I think that'll fit pretty well in this area with everything else, except that it's way too high. So. Let's change that, make sure it follows the land over here. Like, there's no way we'll have these weird shapes all around. We can play around with that later on, uh, doing some, some nice uh, landscaping. And I will definitely do that. Now, I'm just looking where do I place this building? And I'm thinking, what do we have there? Oh, no, that's not what I'm actually overlook. Maybe I'll add just over here by the beach. Yeah, it looks all right. So now we just need that pathway and I will connect it over there. And then we can Actually, you can just curve this around. Yeah, that looks good. And now water, as always. So from here to there. Let's connect over there. Over there and over there. So we should have water and electricity.
And what are we missing? The library is over there. I think we have everything. Yeah, we are all ready. We have the statues in here, we have the fountain, and this is looking pretty good. We still haven't reached like the level for attractiveness that we need, but we also don't have all the students to go one level, uh, one further level up. So that's not a problem. We can wait a little bit to work on that. And what's the capacity? 2,300. So yeah, we, we can wait a little bit. That'll be all right. But uh, looking at the other side here, the other connection, this is going quite well, nothing being backed up in there. And that's how junctions should be. By the way, it's looking pretty good. On this one, it's, well, it's looking slightly better, but it's not a wonder. Still have traffic backing up. And I believe mostly because like all this area around here, they need to go through here. This area, this area, it's just one place that they can go, really. So maybe later on we can connect this through this one and I'll be good. And we don't have houses in here yet, but we do have some commerce, which is nice. Yay, some people walking. Actually, they are walking a long way. Interesting to see that. But yeah, I do hope you enjoy this. So just as a recap, we, uh, I want built in this area today. I think we've uh, made a longer episode than we initially thought. So I'll stop here. But we now have this new uh, highway interchange in here that takes some of the traffic from the main highway into this area so that uh, works a little bit better for us and yeah traffic is getting slightly better in there and we also increase the size and the level of our university we are now level three and this is looking quite good i quite like all the buildings that we have here they look quite nice all of the buildings for the liberal arts are actually pretty nice so look at the gymnasium in here this looks good i want to leave it very secluded in there and this is how it looks we now have the cafeteria the library this was right there we have this open study area we have our fountain statues and this building that they go to um, how do you call it? So, ah, I forgot when they, for the graduation, yes, <laughs> was just like, was just there. But yeah, another cafeteria in there and this area is looking quite good. Actually, our city is growing quite a lot and we are now in a pretty big area. I do want to break this road through this area as well, so it doesn't look like so flat in here. Everything else falls terrain and looks very, very natural. I'm quite enjoying this uh, city and I hope you are too. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And also don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you can see what happens next. And please consider watching the video on your screen. This might be something you like. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.